Well, we begin tonight right now inside the criminal probe into Donald Trump's former lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. The feds now scouring his phones and computers, seeking what they believe is potentially evidence of a crime or crimes at his home or office. Now, Giuliani has been playing this, well, very different than most defendants, very different than what he would normally advise clients. He's been doing it the Giuliani way, talking. Now, in an intensifying criminal probe, most lawyers would tell you, don't go out and talk in public and don't do talk radio. But that's what he's doing, bringing up Hunter Biden, doing the kind of things that got his client impeached and got his own offices raided by the feds. They seized all my electronics, <laughs> except the Hunter Biden hard drive, which they didn't want any part of. I guess there are too many, you know, actually, I can see the problem. There are too many crimes on it for them to be, the FBI is only about 14,000 agents. Now, other than Mr. Giuliani's word, we can't say whether or not he truly has Hunter Biden's hard drives. The scope of those warrants, though, were for things pertaining to Mr. Giuliani as his subject or more. We don't have reason to believe they would have had the legal clearance even to get other things. Meanwhile, also new today, because this story keeps developing, the Justice Department formally asking for a judge to order an independent lawyer to review the evidence that investigators confiscated in the raid. The prosecutor specifically citing the precedent because it's Donald Trump. There's a lot of bad looking precedent here. The fact that his former chief lawyer, Michael Cohen, was also raided, and they used this type of situation to assure that all evidence is treated fairly. The letter highlights the, quote, unusually sensitive privilege issues that the warrants may implicate. Now, if you followed this story or watched the beat, you may recall we covered this from the outset. Whatever one thinks of Donald Trump or Mr. Giuliani, there are rights and privileges associated with any lawyer-client relationship, to say nothing of the extra privilege issues with the president. Now, Donald Trump is entitled to those legal privileges. The development here is the DOJ under this new administration saying they will absolutely seek to respect that, to have an outside lawyer do it so there's not even the hint or whiff of potential impropriety. And anything that is truly privileged as to the client, Donald Trump, would not be used by any potential investigators or prosecutors against Mr. Giuliani. Meanwhile, another development, our own MSNBC's Andrea Mitchell went to Ukraine, speaking with a former advisor to the president there, saying that Giuliani wanted multiple investigation into the Bidens. It was all about a smear campaign on then not even a, a candidate Biden, uh, Joe Biden. So uh, basically, first request was uh, multiple investigations. So he wanted Burisma investigated. He wanted uh, the uh, situation with uh, ex-prosecutor General Shokin investigated. And he was especially interested in getting Ukraine to make a public statement and possibly back it up. Uh, this crazy allegation that it was Ukraine, not Russia, that meddled in 2016. Smear campaigns, legal heat, ratcheting up on Giuliani. Donald Trump reportedly wouldn't pay Giuliani, won't pay his lawyers, and the inner circle here reportedly getting worried. 